Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Quinn and welcome back to another Mukbang Monday where I pretty much fill you in on what's going on with my channel and what my plans are for the rest of this week. So before I go on, I want to talk about what we have right here because I am so excited. So first off, we have some gan jajamyeon and I'm not Korean, so I apologize if I'm completely butchering the pronunciation of that. I'm going to work on it. And then next, I actually forgot what the name of this uh, was in Korean, but it's like a sweet and sour pork. And I know it's like super popular in uh, Korea and also super popular in other mukbang videos. And then we have some really adorable mini kimbap and then some pan fried dumplings. And then as our condiments, cause you know, you can't have Korean food without Korean condiments. We have some pickled radish. We have some raw onions. This is a black bean sauce. And then this is a dipping sauce for the kimbap. And then of course we have some kimchi. I am so excited to eat this. Um, first I gotta try to mix this up first. I actually found out about the jajamyeon from other mukbang videos and uh, I've never even had it before but I knew I was craving it so I was craving this dish I've never had before and I had to have it and the only place that really has this in Austin was like half an hour away from me so I drove an hour to go pick this up this morning um, and the ladies and the owner was like so sweet. They gave me this huge container and uh, filled it up with kimchi and just charged me five bucks for it. Sorry, I just really wanted to get this sauce like super mixed in there. Okay, so first bite, here we go. Oh, these noodles are heavy. I also realized in my last mukbang video that I was taking such small bites. So this time <laughs> I'm going to take a lot bigger bites because small bites are no fun. This is so long. Okay. I think this might be way too big by the let's see. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. That's so good. I can see why this is so popular. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. I cannot believe I have never had uh, Jajamin before. I can see why it's so popular in all of the mukbang videos. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to try the sweet and sour pork. I poured only a little bit of the sauce on it. I have like a whole container of it on the side here. I have a lot. <laughs> A lot lot of the sauce still hopefully I don't pour it out um but I didn't want like the pork to get like soggy so I only poured in a little bit and I was just gonna dip it in if I needed to but mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just like so overwhelmed with how amazing this food is. I'm so happy right now. A little bit of kimchi. Mmm. Okay. I can see why she said that the kimchi in the grocery store. I mean, the Korean markets like don't taste anything like this. Cause that's so good. It just tastes so much more authentic 
and so much like like not as like preserved or like vinegary i feel like as a kimchi that you get like at the store um oh i love it i'm totally gonna get all my kimchi from her now mmm Let's try one of these. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm like not filling you in about my stuff at all. I'm just eating for now. Mm. All right, <laughs> time for me to talk now. You guys, thank you so much for um, clicking on this video and watching today. I know that my mukbang videos are so different from all my other videos, um, such as the reviews. I know most of you are here for the reviews, so if mukbang is not your thing, um, just tune in another day of the week. I do have more uh, Dyson follow-up videos coming up this week. I'm hoping to wrap them up this week because I have three more videos and I want to be able to just finish them. So if you guys are watching, you guys know that I just posted my giveaway video last Friday and I'm so, so excited about it. I am so overwhelmed by the feedback and by how many people are entering in this contest. You guys, I was so afraid that I would post this and there wouldn't be much interest and I'm so glad that there's interest. I'm so glad that um, this will make someone happy to get this Dyson Air that I have. Um, mm. Mm. I love Gimbap. As mentioned in my previous video, the Dyson Airwrap model that I have is a US model with US plugins. So there is a chance that it might not even work um, for higher voltages um, and in other countries. So this is the unit I'm going to be sending out for the winner of this giveaway. And, um, you know, I wish I could send out a unit for the specific country. So I apologize for that. I wish that I did have that access, but I don't. So the winner of this giveaway will get the model that I have the US version. I do want to emphasize that because um, from what I've seen, there is a chance that it might not work in countries that have 220 to 240 voltage. Um, so I just want you guys to know that if you win, the winner will get this specific unit. Okay, I feel like I repeated myself a lot in that, but um, you know, I just want to be transparent with you guys as much as possible. I don't want um, to announce a winner, ship them the unit, and then have it just not work. Um, I don't really know how converters work. You might be able to get like a voltage converter, and that very well might be the answer. I'm actually going to try to reach out to Dyson and see what they say about it. And see if there's a solution for that. But it's unfortunate because if you're spending more than $500, and a hair product. I don't understand why Dyson didn't make it dual voltage. You know what I mean? Wow, what a play. Yeah? Mmm. Dude, it's all I so good. I got you a chopstick. Oh. So Jordan just got here. Mm-hmm. He's gonna have some of this too because this is way too much great for one person. You want me to put you up? Sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've ever had Jack in my bag. Well, not that much. You know what that much? No. What are those? These are pan fried dumplings. Mm. And this is kimbap. Mmm. Warm morning dumplings. Oh yeah. I've been checking to see if the Dyson Air app has come back yet because I got really lucky with mine. I actually had pre-ordered a um, Dyson Airwrap Complete from Neiman Marcus. And you got time. really lucky with both yours. Yeah, I did. Because I the first one, I got it. There was only three left in stock. I literally <laughs> drove there as soon as I found out about the Dyson Airwrap. Picked one up and then grabbed, you know, one of three that was left. And that was like two days into them actually getting it. And then... With this one, I was planning on doing a giveaway for you guys, like, pretty soon. And I've been planning, or I've been wanting to do one for months now. I just didn't know what to give away. And, 
so when the Dyson videos came out, I thought that would be like the perfect thing to give, but I like missed my chance because I, I thought about it and then I was gonna order one and I wouldn't be able to order a complete one because it was already sold out by the time I thought about that. So I was gonna order one of the other models and then before I could buy them, they were sold out. Like, so I put my name down, pre-ordered one from Neiman Marcus and they told me that it was gonna be like two weeks. So first they said it was gonna be a week. So I was like, oh, that's not bad. Then I called and they're like, oh yeah, we might not get it for two weeks. And you're also like 36 in line. So they don't send enough in the next shipment that I have to wait for the next shipment after that or, you know, however much. Um, so I was like, wow, that's like really far down. Like I might not get one for a month or two. So I like started searching online um, and just to see if any other companies or website carried it. And surprisingly, Ulta actually had um, the Dyson Airwrap Complete available and so I snagged that up right away. I was like, I don't care, I'm just gonna buy it and you know, if the Neiman Marcus one shows up before, I'll cancel the other one. So I literally bought both of them. Luckily, Neiman Marcus didn't charge me <laughs> yet, yet. So that's how I was able to get the second Airwrap Complete that I have. Did you cancel that one? I haven't canceled it yet. The one from Neiman Marcus, I need to. <laughs> you trying to have three of them? No, I, I do need to call them and cancel because I think they had to call me to confirm first before, like, huh. yeah, before you I pay. Or, I mean, I can always return it. What I thought was like, really strange was yesterday or the day before, I went online, searched for Dyson Airwrap again just to see if like they're still available, um, see if it's still sold out. And uh, it popped up on dhgate.com. It's like a wholesale website. Do you know more about dhgate? Mm -hmm. I think it's like almost kind of like an Alibaba. And on there, it says Dyson Airwrap. The more quantities you buy, the cheaper it gets. Like that can't be like an authentic. How like, much were they? Like $300, which is like almost half the price of a regular Dyson Airwrap. So that can't be like an authentic Dyson Airwrap, could it? No. So what concerns me is there's such high demand for this hair styling tool and now there are wholesalers selling fake ones online. So eventually they're gonna get picked up by like shady sellers trying to sell them as the Dyson Airwrap. So people are going to be getting these fake tools that are not as good of quality and doesn't isn't backed by Dyson. I just think that's like so deceiving. That's life, man. I don't know, I think it's like, it's messed up. But I think that's why there's so many counterfeit items now. Maybe like, you shouldn't tell them this story. They're gonna think your second one is counterfeit. <laughs> well, no, I mine actually came from like a um, authorized retailer. Mine came from Ulta. Well, right, but they don't know that. I have the receipt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mine is authentic, but I just want to like to mention that because I know that you know a lot of you see this who are actually looking to get a Dyson Air app of your own. Like I just want to kind of like. Um, to share a word of caution because uh, just make sure that you're getting it from authorized s sellers um, because you never know if you're gonna get like a fake one because they're available. Like on, if you search Dyson Airwrap on Google Shopping, it pops up, which I think is like really weird that Google allows that. But well, they can't micromanage it all yet. It, they'll they will get taken down eventually. Yeah. But all right. You ladies have fun. <laughs> There's some guys too, babe. Don't hit on my girl. <laughs> that could be a guy though. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> mm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you like, have you ever bought an item that turned out to be counterfeit or you don't really have proof that it was counterfeit, but you suspect it was counterfeit. Um, let me know because I'm so cautious. So much so that I don't even buy a lot of stuff on Amazon anymore. Like anything expensive. I try to get it like directly from the source or like from authorized um, sellers such as like Ulta or like some of the big name companies. I don't know if like Amazon has cracked down on this. It could be a lot better now, but I know that with Amazon, they for a time they didn't really check your credentials um, when you were selling something. All you have to do is claim that this is the item. 
and um, they don't only really check to make sure it's authentic or not. So since finding that out, I just don't um, buy anything on Amazon. That's like super high value. Yeah, honey. I know what I hear you. Hmm. Dessert mukbang. I should. Oh, oh, I can't wait. Hmm. Jordan says I should do a dessert mukbang. What do you guys think? That sounds really good, actually. I apologize that my hair is kind of like all sorts of crazy. I went out today to go pick up the food and it's like really, really um, gloomy out. It's like kind of sporadically raining. So my hair is like definitely super frizzy from all the humidity that's in the air. Um, so I apologize. I wanted my hair to be a little bit better for you guys, but unfortunately we can't have good hair days all the time. <laughs> Mm. Oh man, I love these noodles. They're so good. Oh, and they're so long. I want to use raw onions with it. Mm. It's actually not bad. So this is actually only my second mukbang Monday and um, as I mentioned in my previous mukbang Monday which I think a lot of you guys weren't even subscribed to me yet but I really wanted to start my week with a mukbang Monday because it's a good time for me to sit down, let you guys know what's going on, answer any questions you guys might have for me, and also let you guys know what I plan on releasing and what I plan on for the rest of the week. And also, one of my favorite videos to watch <laughs> on YouTube are mukbang videos, and so I just figured it was a good way for me to kind of do both, um, have a little fun with it, and also, um, you know, get, have a chance to interact with you guys more kind of like one-on-one -on -one, um, because I know in a lot of my videos I try to condense them as much as possible I don't like my videos to ramble so I honestly cut out a lot of stuff a lot of um, my personality I just try to give the relevant information and just go with that so you know since I do that with most of my videos I wanted to uh, be able to sit in front of you guys and just talk and let you guys know who I really am and um, yeah and again you know I think the biggest thing is to answer any questions you don't have any questions really right now but if you do have questions be sure to leave it in the comment section below so that I can answer your questions in the next mukbang Monday this is so good I actually have some more of this black bean sauce I'm gonna just add that onto this because it's so good so for the rest of this week i really want to get the rest of my dice and follow-up videos up i think i only have three more i really want to do one like with heatless style so just using the cool setting on the air wrap to style because i did have a lot of people asking me if i can use the Dyson air wrap to style hair um, without using any of the heat. So with the heatless styles, I thought that was like such a good idea because I know there are a lot of people out there who want to style their hair um, quicker than just letting it air dry and actually like being able to control their hair. Um, and they really aren't able to do that without um, heat. And then the second video I want to do is a beach curls or beach waves video using the air wrap i know i uh, had a couple of people asking about like a tutorial video for that um especially with my hair type so i'm going to try to do that as well and to be honest i've never tried it before i'm actually not really good at like the beach waves um look but i'm gonna try it for you guys so i will practice on that a little bit but it's not gonna be like a pro tutorial <laughs> um 
is like an amateur tutorial when that comes out. I just want to give you guys a warning, but that is going to come out this week, hopefully. And then the last video I'm going to do, I really want to do a comparison between the Dyson Airwrap and the Revlon. I think it's like a two-in-one styler. I've heard a lot about the Revlon two-in-one styler and it being like the Dyson Airwrap's like dupe. And at $60, it is a really, really good deal. So I really want to try that out to see if it would be a comparable dupe for the Dyson Airwrap um, and let you guys know what my thoughts are. But yeah, so that's kind of um, the plan this week for the Dyson Airwrap videos. Hopefully I get all three of those videos out and that should pretty much conclude the Dyson Airwrap series unless anyone has any suggestions or want me to do any more videos with the Dyson Airwrap, in which case I will. Um, if there's any interest in any more Dyson videos that I can do for you guys, I'll do it. Um, but if not, then that's pretty much all I have planned. So um, yeah. And then also, if I have time this week, I really want to do a Boyfriend Friday where Jordan can come and actually be in the video and hang out with me and you guys and we can do like a cute couple video. All right, now more eating. Hmm. Okay. As I mentioned in the last video, um, my goal is to eventually be able to upload five videos a week. Um, and each day of the week is supposed to be like a themed video. Um, so it's more like a series. So if you're interested in a certain type of video, you know to turn in that day of the week. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> Now that I've thought about it, it's going to be a little bit hard for the next few weeks because of the holidays. We're going to be visiting my family um, in Kansas next week. So I'll try my best to get videos out. It's not going to be like review videos. It's probably going to be more like how-to videos or um, stuff like that that I can incorporate with my family. Like my nieces, they love to be in my videos. So next week, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't planned out next week yet. But <laughs> this, this week will be just regular. Mm. I honestly can't believe that next week is Thanksgiving already. I feel like this holiday season went by so fast. Thanksgiving has always been like my favorite holiday. And I don't know what it is about it. Right? But ever since I was a kid, I just have always loved it. And I think <laughs> it's probably because of the food, knowing me, hello, you know. I think I also love that like it's a great excuse or a great like um, reason to get the family together and to just hang out and just be with loved ones. For me and my family, like I feel like we're more like close knit for Thanksgiving break than we are for Christmas because I feel like Christmas is like so drawn out that everyone's just like, all right, we're kind of sick of being around you. <laughs> I'm totally just kidding, kind of. But I think that's why Thanksgiving, it's like a little bit more. Like we only have a few days to be with each other. So we're going to, you know, spend as much time as we can with each other and just stay together for those few days. And, you know, the presents and everything is like really like nice. Um, I feel like it's a little bit stressful at the same time. So I really like that Thanksgiving is just more chill. It's about, it's not about the presents. It's not about all that. It's just about like giving thanks to what you have in your life. Um, and also my birthday normally falls. <laughs> on Thanksgiving break. My birthday is November 21st. Um, and ever since I was, I remember going through school and I hated having my birthday 
like so close to Thanksgiving because um, you know like in elementary school you would always have like a little party when it's your birthday and I would never have that because mine always fell on Thanksgiving break and it sucked <laughs> it was really sad I was always that kid who didn't get to celebrate her birthday in class I'm gonna pour the rest of this on him because these are all the noodles I have anyway. Do you guys have birthdays that like fall on like holidays or like breaks where you know you see all your other friends have attention at school and everyone had their designated day and you just are just like oh no I can't you know or like some teachers I've had a couple teachers um, in my elementary school do this where they um, would just take all the kids who had birthdays on breaks, which is really considerate actually. I shouldn't even be like complaining. But then they would like combine all our birthdays into one day. So you have to share your birthday with a bunch of people. So it's not even about your day. And of course, I'm over here, you know, child Quinn. I just wanted my own day. I just never had it. Like I think it traumatized me. <laughs> and now this year I'm turning 30. I don't know how I feel about that just yet. I feel like my 20s went by really, really fast. <laughs> Jordan keeps asking me like, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, honestly, I really don't want to think about my birthday because I'm old. I'm going to be old. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm really not that old. It's like bittersweet because I'm a little bit nervous to turn 30 because it just means I'm not going to be in my 20s anymore. It's another decade of living and it's another like decade of my life that I'm never going to be able to see again. But it all, at the same time, it's like really exciting too. I feel like my 20s was like, like my stupid years, right? Like, I mean, like as a teenager, you're stupid and then you're like, okay, you're young, you know, you get away with that. In your 20s, you're kind of thought of as an adult. So when you do the stupid things, like you don't get away with it as much, but like, it's also kind of the time you're like, okay, well, I can't get away with being dumb. I can't get away with being like inconsiderate, you know, or whatever. So you learn in your 20s because you can't get away with it anymore. And so hopefully in my 30s, it just means I'm going to be smarter, more successful. You know, it's just brighter, better things in my 30s. I hope. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to like rant you guys about my 30s. I think I'm just a little bit better sweet about it. So I'm going to take such a big bite right here. <laughs> Mm. more sauce is a lot better i hope you guys are liking these mukbang mondays um let me know what you think do you think that i should keep doing them or would you rather have a different video from mondays instead oh also i know on my instagram stories this morning i posted that i burnt my hand and i did so last night i was cooking dinner and i was um making chicken thighs and so I first seared them and then you're supposed to transfer the pan uh, into the oven and uh, cook it and bake it at like 425 degrees for like 30 minutes. So that's what I did. So I have a metal like kind of like frying pan um, that I was searing the chicken thighs in and it's oven safe. So I just thought instead of transferring it to a casserole dish and getting another dish dirty, um, I was just going to use that pan and just stick it into the oven because it was like safe up to like 500 degrees. And I took it out of the oven after about 30 minutes and then I was like about to prepare everything. I took the mitt off of the pan. So this is just like a regular frying pan with like a handle. And so I went back to try to like scoop out some of the sauce from the pan and I grabbed the pan with my bare hand and burnt myself really badly. It hurts so badly. It still hurts now, but luckily you can see it. You see how I have that like that round 
mark right here so it's not horrible so thank you everyone who checked in on me on instagram um and you know see if i was okay um that was really really sweet of you guys to reach out to me um but i am okay um I, it doesn't hurt like this but whenever i would do anything like if i like i couldn't even put my hair up in a ponytail this morning anything that touches it it kind of like stings a little bit so that's why i, I was being extra and put the bandage on it but i figured since i don't really have to use my palm for eating um i took it off well guys that is pretty much it for today's mukbang monday i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope that i'm getting a little bit better at talking and eating with you guys i am so glad that i got to share this amazing meal with you guys i will definitely be back to this restaurant um but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below also remember if you have any questions specifically for me on anything at all Leave it down below and I will answer that in the next Mukbang Monday. Thank you so much for watching guys. I truly appreciate it. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there so you can see more videos like this. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.